I'm back. I, I know it's been a it's been about two months, three months or so since I did my last video. I've, that's because I've moved. I'm in a new area now. I left Georgia. I was in Middle Georgia. Now I am in Northern Alabama, Rocket City. I know some of y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all might not. Uh, I took a new job position, so that that required me to move. So now I'm in, went from the great state of Georgia, now I'm in the great state of Alabama. I, as far as uh, my goal to do videos is about two a month if I can, uh, but it probably end up being one time a month, it just depends on, you know, my work schedule and, uh, and doing videos in between that. And it and in a slightly different time zone and it the sun sets a little earlier. So that uh, also will affect how much I can do videos. Um, um as you saw in the beginning, you know, right now we're in an apartment. I do have a garage though, so I can still do my stuff, so I'm happy about that. It's not tiny and I was it's just a one car, but it's not a tiny one car, so I'm, I'm good with that. Um, so I'll still be able to do, you know, all my do, you know, do, do it yourself In about projects. Half a mile, right turn onto Southern the next Road. video you'll see will be on the Z1 subframe collars for the Q50, and I think for the Q60 also. Uh, one of my YouTube subscribers who happened to live close to mile, me and right Georgia. Turn onto Sutton Road. Sorry, y'all. I'm um, following the navigation because I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> but uh, one of my YouTube subscribers uh, who lived pretty close to me in Georgia allowed me to install the Z1's subframe collar uh, collars on his um, Q50. Uh, he had a Red Sport also. <laughs> Shout out to Randall and his two daughters a great dude and uh, but so I got to his car kind of got to be a, a little bit of a guinea pig it's a slightly intimidating install as you gotta kind of drop the well not kind of you have to drop your whole cell frame and just saying that sounds intimidating and it turned out to not be that bad. It turned out to be about as easy as they advertised. Um, you know, you just gotta be careful that you don't let the subframe fall. Uh, you don't want to pop, you know, I was all, all I was worried about was popping some wire or, or, uh, or messing up a shock or something like that because the subframe fell. But I was careful and it, and it worked out. Uh, I'll have my impressions on um, how I on on the Z1 subframe collars. Uh, I'll tell you that I like it. Uh, they on my car now. I, I installed them on mine after after filling it on his car. Uh, I, I had had already purchased them, but I hadn't installed it yet. So his car got installed before mine. <laughs> but uh, so as soon as I drove his car once, I was like, well, I'm installing mine. I literally installed mine like a, a day or so later after installing his after filling it. So that gives you my kind of my initial impressions of it I um, so you so look out for that video um, next uh, it sh should be pretty in-depth as usual because I got a lot of video of the actual install and then I'll give you my opinion and all the impressions and stuff on, on what I think but I like it and uh, so that's all I'll say on that all right, but anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I know I've been, been away for a while, and I should start back up, you know, posting regular videos. Like I said, I'm hoping two a month, but it's probably going to really be realistically one a month. You know, time is always against you when you have a family. <laughs> and y'all people with children know what I'm talking about. But anyway, until next time, don't forget, to, if you like this video, like it. And if you want to continue seeing my stuff, um, go ahead and subscribe. Later, y'all.